Hi, good day everyone. This video is about factorials. In general, if n is a positive integer, then n factorial is denoted by n with exclamation point. It's the product of all integers less than or equal to n. So we have this formula, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to 2 times 1. Alright, so as a special case, we have this 1 factorial and 0 factorial. So both of them is equal to 0. So this time, let's try to answer this set of example. So for our example number 1, if we have 5 factorials, automatically that is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. That is 5 factorial. So we use super calculator, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is automatically equals to 120. So 5 factorials is equals to 120. Next, for our example number 2. If we have 7 factorials, again, same procedure. 7 factorial is equals to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, 2, and 1. So with this super calculator, 7 times 6 times 5 up to times 1 is equals to 5,040. So that is the value of 7 factorials. Next, for our example number 3, for example, we have this quantity of 8 minus 5 factorial. Again, to solve this problem, let's simplify um, the values inside our parentheses and then solve it and or evaluate it with the use of our factorial. So we have 8 minus 5. Automatically, the value of 8 minus 5 is equals to 3. That means we have 3 factorial, which is equals to 3 times 2 and times 1. So 3 times 2 times 1 is equals to 6. So that is the value of quantity of 8 minus 5 factorial. So for our example number 4, this time let's divide um, numbers with factorial. So we have 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So if you want to rewrite this set of values, 8 factorial is equals to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, 3, 2, and 1. This time we need to divide the set of values to 6 factorial which is equals to 6 times 5 times 4, times 3, 2, and 1. Since they share a um, common set of values with a um, factor of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So just cancel out those values and then simplify the remaining values. So we have 8 and 7. So 8 times 7 is equals to 56. So that is equals to 56. Therefore, 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 56. For our example number 5, let's say we have the 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Again, same procedure, we need to divide the set of values. So, um, let's use some shortcut. Since we have the 7 factorial, so automatically, we have the 7 times 6 times 5 factorials. And we want to divide this to 5 factorial. This time, since they share the common factorial, so just cancel out those values, okay? Cancel out 5 factorials, and then we have 7 times 6. So with this super calculator, 7 times 6 is equals to 42. So we have 42 as the value of 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Okay? Next, for our example number 6, we have 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial, 3 factorial. So let's apply the same concept. So 10 factorial is equals to 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. So we want to divide this to 8 factorial times 3 factorial, which is equals to 3 times 2 times 1. This time, since they share common factorial, just cancel out the value of 8 factorials. Okay, from the our numerator and denominator, and then our remaining value here is 10 times 9 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So just simplify this set of values, therefore 10 times 9 is equals to 90. 
right? So that is equals to 90 divided by 3 times 2 times 1, which is equals to 6. So by simplifying this, 90 divided by 6 is equals to 15. So 10 factorial all over 8 factorial times 3 factorial is equals to 15. So that is a final answer. Next, for our example number 7, so what if you, we are asked to multiply factorial? So we have 4 factorial times 5 factorial. So let's simplify this again. 4 factorial is equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we need to multiply the set of values to 5 factorial, which is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So with this super calculator, just multiply all of um, this um, set of values. So the final answer is equals to 2,880. And that is our final answer. Thank you so much and God bless.